Hey YouTube, it's Echo Bear, and so today I want to begin after you guys that's it's called King of Thieves. Now before I get into fun stuff, let's get through the serious stuff. King of Thieves is made by Zepto Lab UK, and it's pretty much like a Mario Maker type of situation, but more squishied. So it's like a rage puzzle platformer is the best way I can describe it. And the first version that I can find that was released was the 2.0 version on February 11th, 2015. So yeah, it's a rage puzzle platformer pretty much. It's a massively multiplayer game, so MMO. It's all across the world. I've seen usernames in Russian, Arabic, um, Israeli, all of these different languages I've seen like player names in. So it's a very massive, massive game, like a lot of people are playing this game. The way it's set up is you, yourself, you start out, you design your dungeon or pay more and let the game design your dungeon for you. So you set that up, make it as hard as you possibly can because every time someone dies while trying to get to your totem to steal your gems, you get more coins from that which makes it easier to upgrade things, make it harder to get in, make it harder to get through and build harder dungeons. So everything within this app builds on itself. This game is also based on like a leaderboard system. It starts out with like, you're really low, up and up and up till the gold level where you face off against the king. Now I'm honestly almost 100% sure that it doesn't end after the gold level, which I'm at right now, because there are so many players that are so much higher a level than I am that it would be weird for it to end there. So plot-wise, you're trying. You're the king who's being dethroned. Want to get back? Be the king of Thieves. Boom! Motivation right there. As you're playing through, like you get to go raid other people's dungeons to steal their gems. You get to play through a level pack of dungeons where you get EXP and can unlock different little areas that'll give you free gems. And gems are important this in this game because it's your delta or like it's your overall ranked score like within wherever you are, your guild, level, cup, whatever, that's pretty much your score. So you get those by collecting gems. You can only collect a certain amount of gems before you run out of space. So what do you do then? You use your totem, put three gems in there, they combine them into a big super gem that's worth more. And this continues and continues and the way, and you think it would just be exponential, like the way the game is set up. But it has like a decent control thing so people can get in and steal your gems and take that away. So it creates a very competitive atmosphere. So now that I've explained the basic gameplay, I'm going to talk about the other stuff. The aesthetic of this game is really nice. It has a really awesome cartoony background, your little blob character, like whatever mask you can unlock. It's just so cute. It's the cutest thing ever. So you run around collect it, you're adorable, you can interact with the backgrounds as you go through dungeons, it has the sound effects for that, like the sound effects are really awesome, like all of the traps are have sound effects going with them, the background has sound effects going with them, getting the treasure chest gives you sound effects, jumping sound effects, like it's a very, very well done soundwise game. So honestly, I don't know how much of me raving right now is making sense, hopefully it'll make more sense once I have a screenshot either side of me, but overall it's a really fun game if you like competitive multiplayer games. This is definitely a pretty fun one. Um, Guild-wise, uh, if you like guild interaction, don't really keep your hopes up. I've been in a couple and so far it's just like, oh hey, you're getting kicked, bye, and that's pretty much all the chat really has. I've tried interacting with people before, but it's really not too fun. Uh, maybe I'll post that I'm doing a review of this on YouTube, maybe I'll get a couple more people being like, hey, it's up. But I don't know, who knows. But for everything this app has, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's really fun, it has a lot of fun, quirky mechanics, it's definitely a rage game. Like there are some things that keep it from making it impossible, like you have to pass your level a couple times to make sure like you can pass it successfully and other people can pass it successfully and it's not just luck. So it has some safeguards from keeping it being too hard but that doesn't make it like nearly impossible as is. So as you get up in levels it does get really hard so if you are into super ragey games I wouldn't recommend this one but otherwise it's a really fun game so definitely go check it out. Now that I'm done rambling thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like and comment down below 
hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! After you guys, it's called... I don't know what it's called.